if, if, you, if you can't see the hand of God in this, then you're just not looking. And that is Tennessee Republican Tim Burchett. He says God joined in to make Mike Johnson speaker. He is a sincere man of God. He's not one of these bumper sticker Christians. God-fearing Christianity is important to Burchett. He was one of the eight Republicans who removed former Speaker Kevin McCarthy and says Jesus was with them. You know, my buddy Matt Gates and the rest of us, I said, I told him, we always sit on the second row to the back. I, I call it center's row. And because generally when folks are having a little tough time, they come sit with me. And, um, and I talk to them about, about what's important in life and mostly about Jesus and other things. Even following Johnson's victory, Burchett and the new speaker paid religious tribute. And that very picture you're seeing right there, he had asked me to pray right before then. And we had, um, before the press came in, and I did in fact wow. pray. And the Republican House, an outspoken and deep Christian faith, is not the only thing, of course, that runs deep. Now the lawmakers are back to delivering House floor speeches. The hardline GOP conservatives are prioritizing with a religious fervor other issues that they also think are of utmost importance. Here we go again. The administration's war on appliances continues. First it was gas stoves, then it was water heaters, and now it's ice makers. I live in the country. I like a glass of iced tea. Operative word there is ice. For the record, Congressman, the Biden administration is trying to help appliance companies make ice makers and other home appliances more energy efficient. The administration is not banning ice makers, gas stoves, or window air conditioning units. But reality is not something many House Republicans embrace. Instead, they prefer to stoke irrational fears. My straightforward amendment would block DOE's overzealous regulation on room air conditioner units from taking effect. Summers in Alabama, as you know, Mr. Chairman, are hot. My constituents, like millions of Americans, use air conditioners to fight this heat. And the heat is intensifying thanks to global climate change caused by so much pollution in the atmosphere. But forget about that. Republican Ralph Norman of South Carolina took to the House floor and spoke against transitioning from oil and gas to solar and other renewable energy sources because of his own experiences on aircraft. When I get on a plane, I don't see too many airplanes flying on batteries or solar panels, uh, much less the batteries that are made predominantly in China, which is a country that doesn't like us. Norman also took time in his floor speech about energy policy to complain about another issue on his mind lately, pronouns. Define for me what pronouns they and them. If you're referring to your fellow workers, they and them, does that make sense? No, it's, 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 that's the stupidest, uh, craziest idea to even entertain. And what does the controversy over pronouns have to do with energy spending? Who knows? But Republicans are back on the House floor, and they are just getting started with all the old GOP buzzwords and nonsensical cliches. This is no nothing more than a woke Biden administration that is once again regulating rulemaking against businesses that ultimately will cost consumers more money. Aha! Uh -huh. It's all about money. I knew the House Republican lawmakers would eventually circle back to that. Money, home appliance freedoms, and God. And those are the Republican House priorities, except, of course, for Lauren Boebert, who continues to focus on giving Johnsons a hand. It may have taken three weeks for the Republicans to find a speaker in the House, but now that they've got one, somehow, thanks to the Almighty, the GOP is back in business, fairy tales and all. By the way, we spoke recently with some Trump MAGA cultists, and they are getting more extreme and desperate than ever. If Donald Trump does not win, what do you, what do, you do? I hope that I'm going to die. <laughs> you want to die if Donald Trump doesn't yeah, win. I, do. I don't want to live like this anymore. You like our country the way it is now? Mm, check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.